Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we have an incredible story to share with you. As you know, relations between the royal family and Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been extremely strained since they stepped back from their royal duties last year. Things have only gotten worse since their infamous interview with Oprah where they made several shocking allegations against the royals. Well, it seems Meghan's demands and outrageous behavior haven't stopped there. We've gotten word that she's recently made an absolutely absurd request of none other than Earl Spencer, the brother of the late Princess Diana. That's right, Meghan apparently thinks she's now entitled to Diana's childhood home of Althorpe House, one of the most historic estates in all of England. But Earl Spencer was having absolutely none of it. Let's dive into the details of this insane story. As many of you know, Althorpe House has been in the Spencer family for over 500 years, and is located in the village of Althorpe in Northamptonshire. It's considered one of the most beautiful and important stately homes in the entire UK. The 9,000-acre estate has been home to the Spencer family for decades and generations. Tragically, it was also the childhood home of Princess Diana, who spent many happy years there as a young girl before her marriage to Prince Charles. After Diana's untimely death in 1997, her brother Earl Spencer decided to open up parts of Althorpe House and its grounds as a public memorial to Diana. Her former schoolroom, bedroom, and Atra's personal items are now on display for visitors. The estate also houses Diana's final resting place, as she is buried on a small island in the middle of an ornamental round lake known as the Oval. Every year thousands of people from around the world make pilgrimages to Althorpe House to pay their respects to the people's princess. It's no secret that Earl Spencer and the rest of Diana's family never fully accepted Meghan into the royal family after she married Prince Harry in 2018. They felt she moved too fast in her relationship with Harry and didn't give the late Diana's memory the respect it deserved. Things became tremendously strained after Meghan and Harry's royal exit last year in their bombshell Oprah interview, where they made accusations of racism against unnamed royals. With the troubled relationship already in tatters, it seems Meghan got bold enough to make an absolutely ludicrous demand of Earl Spencer recently. According to inside sources close to the Spencer family, Meghan contacted Earl Spencer out of the blue a few weeks ago and informed him that, as Diana's daughter-in-law, she felt entitled to take up residence at Althorpe House going forward. The sources say Meghan told Earl Spencer that, with she and Harry no longer welcome at Frogmore Cottage or other royal residences after Megxit, she wanted to move into one of the many grand suites at Althorpe House. She attempted to invoke Diana's memory and hinted that it would please Diana's spirit if her grandson Archie grew up enjoying the same countryside estate that Diana once called home. But according to the insiders, Earl Spencer was absolutely furious about Meghan's presumptuous and outrageous request. He bluntly informed her that Althorpe House had been in the Spencer family for centuries and would remain so. He said that while Diana was always welcome there as a daughter, Meghan had no entitlements as she had only been married to Diana's son for a short time before quitting as a working royal. Earl Spencer is said to have told Meghan in no uncertain terms that she was not getting her hands on Althorpe and that the request showed an astonishing lack of sensitivity to Diana's memory and family heritage. He made it clear the estate was not some royal perk she could lay claim to and that she did not have the right to make such selfish demands. According to the sources, the conversation ended very frostily with neither party willing to back down from their positions. This outrageous grab at Althorpe House provides further insight into just how entitled Meghan seems to view herself these days. It's quite rich that she felt she could waltz in and demand the historic family home of her deceased mother-in-law, all while criticizing the royal family in the press. But thankfully Earl Spencer didn't fall for Meghan's manipulation and isn't going to let America's former royals get their hands on the cherished Spencer ancestral estate. I can't say I blame Earl Spencer one bit for furiously rejecting this loopy proposal from Meghan. Althorpe House holds immense emotional significance as the place where Diana grew up and it has been carefully maintained as a tribute to her memory since her death. Meghan married into the family less than three years ago and has spent little actual time in the UK since stepping away from royal duties. She has no real claim to the estate, and seems to view everything connected to the royal family as something she can lay claim to. Diana herself would think about this audacious attempt by her former daughter-in-law to horn in on her childhood home. Diana was always tremendously proud of her Spencer roots and heritage. 
She wouldn't want just anyone waltzing in and disrupting the legacy she left behind at Althorpe. While Diana likely would have welcomed Meghan at first, I'm sure the People's Princess would be appalled by many of Meghan and Harry's actions over the past year. She'd probably think Meghan has gotten a bit too big for her sparkly designer boots lately. On that note, Diana's brother Charles Spencer, the current ninth Earl Spencer, has long been her fiercest protector and defender of her memory and legacy. He doesn't mince words when it comes to people he feels are disrespecting or exploiting his sister's memory and reputation. After Meghan and Harry's Oprah interview, Earl Spencer blasted it as being full of overblown and unfounded accusations. He also slammed their claims that the royal family was racist. So it's no surprise that Earl Spencer wants absolutely nothing to do with the woke Sussexes these days and isn't giving them an inch when it comes to controlling Diana's beloved former home and final resting place at Althorpe. You simply can't buy or demand your way into one of England's most distinguished aristocratic families and their iconic estates. Meghan may be accustomed to always getting her way in Hollywood, but the royal, political, and cultural stakes are much higher here. As you can probably tell, this is an extremely heated family rivalry that is not going to simmer down anytime soon between Meghan and the Spencers. Earl Spencer has made it crystal clear he won't be bullied by the Sussexes' entitlement or self-victimization narrative. And he's 100% right to protect Althorpe House and resist any suggestion that it could come under the control of Meghan Markle, a woman who has done little to prove her true commitment or respect for the British crown, aristocracy, or her late mother-in-law's legacy. It will be very interesting to see if there are any other flare-ups between Meghan and the Spencer family moving forward, given this very public rejection. Thus far, the Windsors, with the exception of the Queen perhaps, have largely stayed silent in the face of Meghan and Harry's accusations. But the Spencers clearly have no such issues calling Meghan out directly and defending Diana's memory and family heritage. Some royal experts are speculating we may soon start to see cracks in the Windsor unity as well if the Sussexes keep pushing buttons. While the Queen is first and foremost committed to keeping the monarchy intact, other royals like Princes William and Charles seem to have less tolerance for being attacked in the media by the couple in California. They may eventually lose patience and start speaking out more forcefully as well to set the record straight on multiple fronts. Either way, this story proves once again that Meghan Markle greatly overestimated her importance and influence after marrying into the royal family. You can't just breeze into a millennium-old institution and start throwing your weight around and making inappropriate demands of sacred family estates. And you certainly don't get to lob bombshell accusations through international TV interviews and not face some heated consequences from offended relatives. It will be very intriguing to watch how, or if, Meghan chooses to respond publicly to this rejection from her late mother-in-law's brother. Something tells me she won't take it lying down and will want to get a woke word in edgewise to control the narrative. But whatever counterattack she tries will likely only dig her hole deeper in the eyes of tradition-bound Brits who highly value their historic properties and revered noble families. Of course, as always with these royal controversies, we invite you our viewers to weigh in with your own thoughts on this bombshell story. Have your say in the comments about whether you agree with Earl Spencer defending Althorpe House from Meghan's outrageous attempted land grab. And do you think there will be more public blow-ups between the Sussexes and senior royals or related family members moving forward given recent tensions? We want to hear your royal takes on this ongoing drama. In the meantime, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on all the latest breaking updates from inside the royal world.